This is our 1972 Toronado RV motorhome. It was uh, built on a Toronado chassis, on a car chassis, so it's front wheel drive and the rear axles are just drag axles. So it is uh, similar to the GMCs of the era, but it is a Toronado. And so it's got this nice low slung, uh, no drive line since it's front wheel drive. So you walk right in onto the floor. That's a heater there on the right. And we're gonna do a little tour of the interior. This trailer was built in the late 70s, like I say, on a Toronado car chassis. And all of the framing is bent exhaust pipe. The builder, Wendell Cook, had the local muffler shop build him a skeleton frame and then it was skinned in aluminum on the exterior. And then you'll see most of the interior is wood paneling. So um, very much appropriate for the era. The green shag carpeting and button tufted, kind of like a custom van of the period. We just put this new, um, I don't know if you can see it there, but there's a new Pioneer Bluetooth stereo in it. It's got speakers front and rear, so. And then the interior is done all very period correct, very 70s. Um, the dark woods, lots and lots of storage. So you can see the back seating area here. That bed that goes across the back pulls out. And so that is the, the bed here. That table comes out. And that table can also go up between the driver and the passenger seat in the front. So lots of storage, as you can see, all the way around the top. Captain seats in the back there, so you can sit around the table or um, break that down into the bed. There's what you would call closet space here. So you have hangers that hang this way. And there are his and hers across from each other. And then here is the bathroom. So I'm going to step back here where you can see uh, I'm standing here at the where the driver sits and right over here on this side of the coach is a hand wash sink or a smaller sink a bar sink and the restroom not a lot of privacy but functional and it's not just a porta potty it does have a uh, outlet on the bottom so when you're in the RV park you can hook up and use the toilet like a regular toilet. There's also a kitchen sink if you will across the way over here, a double sink, Dometic refrigerator, oven and stove there. Oops, somebody stashed some towels in there. This is where the table mounts up front so you can put the Formica table up front. It's got the uh, old school CB. Um, it does have air conditioner. I don't know that we have used that. Um, I don't know. It uh, That may or may not work. Um, but uh, everything else, for the most part, seems to work as far as I know. Uh, 12 volt lighting, so you can see some of the lighting fixtures. Little period lighting fixtures here. And then some, you know, custom van style up there. So it's all 12 volt in the lighting. Um, these are the sunroofs that look out front. So the back you step up on and the roof elevates. And these are little skylights up in the top of the roof. In the step up portion. All right, that's four and a half minutes. So that's probably enough. I don't know what else to show you. Uh, the curtains go clear around the front for privacy. Um, yeah, just call us if you have any questions about this rig.